video I will go through my article published article on LinkedIn it is about the module federation shared modules but in this video specifically I'll see how can I clone the github repositories I've created in the previous articles and how to set it up and install dependency so it's simply going through this article so this is the steps we will go first we'll create a shared directory and then we will go inside this folder and clone each repository the reason I created separate repository is actually it's because we're trying to simulate multiple teams and every one they have their own repository and you'll find I'm using even different naming conventional here some of them like saying events that's micro front end and some others just saying products so those are three teams and we will clone only one branch which is shared one this is a starting point that we will build on and at the end we'll start uh, visual studio code by writing code space dot so let's do that just copy and paste everything we'll go to to a terminal then paste it click enter and it will start doing the magic as you can see it went there and then open the project the nice thing about having one folder that has all the three projects it will be easier to manage them in uh, visual studio code as you can see each one can be uh, managed separately but they are all in the same project so let's close the welcome screen and open a, a new terminal which you can see it's control and back tick as it turns down there so we'll do control back tick and it will open the window make sure that you will be under the shared you're not under a certain one and now we will install dependency and start each one separately but we have to start with the micro frontends first so they can expose the remote entry.js and then the portal will start it after them so it can consume those two so let's start by products we go inside products and we say yarn install and this will install all dependencies uh, that we have and for that actually we use webpack Dot conf uh, we use the package.json which has all the dependency uh, that we have with the versions that we need and after it finished we will do yarn okay run start and this will start the first the product micro front end and we can do command and then click on uh, port it's so uh, it's thousand one as you can see and it will open the product micro front end as you can see here it has just product one product two product three those are hard coded I want you to click inspect so we can watch it later and uh, watch the console because we will see some errors that will come but what happens here it just loaded uh, if you go to the network and JS JavaScript and do refresh you'll see that it's loaded the main.js and remote entry as we can see here remote entry.js let's do the same for events micro front end so close products so events micro front end of course from here it will not work either you can open of course a terminal from here uh, from this uh, folder or what we can do is just click the plus and do cd events of course first need to make sure that you are in shared directory then you do cd events uh, events micro front end the same thing we've done before yarn install after it finished we'll do yarn run in uh, run start and yarn run start uh, will help us into starting after that we'll start on 8002 and we'll see it running separately yarn run start and then when you do your yarn run start you can see it's already did serve it on port 2000 8002 command click on it and it will open event micro front end and as i said it's only hard coded let's do inspect again and keep it on the console uh, so that we can see the error that's coming from it and then we will fix it last one will be the uh, uh, product the partner portal so we go here again the same exact same thing we go partner portal 
yarn install and it will install dependencies this is very important because when we clone we don't get node modules so you can see here it created node modules it was not there before and it will have all the dependency installed inside it so after it, it installs the dependencies we do yarn run start you can have yarn start as well but it will just start and port a thousand command click on it and start the partner portal and that's weird because we can only see one of them <laughs> actually if you refresh you must see the other and this is what we're going to fix now because we need to share single tone the uh, uh, module the um, react component so in this case it's downloading two reacts but only can use one and this is what we will fix uh, next so let's go to the network to see what happened here so we can explain it uh, if you look at the network and click in JavaScript you can see that it's um, loaded multiple things uh, here so do refresh and you can see here first thing it's the 8000 main and then started 8001 which was the uh, uh, the products and that's why it's showing today it just loaded this the first time 8002 will be the events microservice and then it will go and get the 8001 stuff and it didn't go back and get uh, the index for 8002 and I will explain how to fix this uh, by having asynchronous but let's let's first uh, focus on setting up so now we have the projects being set up with three uh, products micro uh, micro front end and we have uh, uh, the events micro front end and we have the partner portal which is supposed to get both of them but it's getting only one and this is what we will uh, fix with the shared modules